Okay, here is a look at the garden on November 1st, 2024. There's our summer jasmine. I did give it a quite a haircut. These dragon wing begonias have been really, really good this year. If you turn around, there's a whole bunch still back there. Uh, here's our winter jasmine, which you can see here, all these little buds that are going to be blooms. Looks like it's going to be covered in them. And the leaves will drop, and that's kind of to be expected. And down here, it doesn't look like much now, but there's a ton of bulbs in there that'll come up later. And a Rebecca, and I'm not sure exactly where or when I planted that Rebecca, but it manages. Um, over here on this pot, uh, hangs out on the railing, and that's a petunia that's pretty much dead, and a penstemma that's finished off. These mums have been on this balcony for at least a decade, uh, and they'll come into bloom pretty quickly. Then turning around, these guys just have no idea that it's November yet. They're, and I just, I just can't pull them out. It was too pretty. And then the lantana has finally decided that in November it's time to grow. I don't quite understand, but the helenium have been wonderful. Uh, they're pretty much finishing, but look at this guy. Just opened up yesterday. And then these guys, this pot is sort of finishing off, but I'm going to uh, prune it back and hope that it'll come back. It's just been so pretty this year. The labelia needs to come out. And here is a bonariensis, Verbena bonariensis, that um, just kind of appeared and has been spectacular. The birds are in the process of taking out the seeds, which is wonderful to watch. Um, there's Branch Devereaux is back in place. And then here's... <laughs> not quite sure why this begonia has decided that now is the time to bloom, but it is. And then Salvia Black and Bloom has been fantastic. Um, this is supposedly a slightly smaller version than Black and Bloom. Forget what the name is. It's Midnight Blue or something like that. So it's minimally smaller, not that much. And then if you look up here, this Bolivian begonia just doesn't know when to quit. So it will overwinter once a bit of frost touches it. I'll take it down off the wall and tuck it up against the, the window. The agastache is kind of finished. We've got some vermilion air back there that was too restricted for the hummingbirds to get into. And that's about it at the moment from the Hanging Garden of Harwood. Happy All Souls Day, everyone.